Hello and welcome. This is Ali Nasser, SolidWorks Certified Expert. In this video, I am going to illustrate how to model fork. Uh, as we can see in these pictures, uh, appearing to uh, projection one uh, front and uh, top view. Um, to start build this model, we need to ask ourselves um, which point or which um, best beginning we can start to build this part uh, or in other in other world we can see what is your methodology to build this part um, in simple way we can just uh, draw uh, this front uh, picture draw the upper edges like this and mid make extrude uh, then cut with uh, top uh, plan uh, this will be my methodology to build this part and now let's go to SOLIDWORKS and uh, explain how to do this in SOLIDWORKS we can just click new document part and after that I need to go to uh, front plan make a sketch on it uh, then use a uh, sketch picture. Uh, by the way, if you don't have a sketch picture, you can add it from comments here. Just type sketch picture and drag drop your comment. Uh, but uh, you must uh, note you select the comments, not uh, other things. Now, just go to sketch picture. I will add the front, front view of my fork, like this and uh, let's assume the uh, length of fork it's uh, ab about uh, 180 um, millimeter make it horizontal and give dimension 180 make it uh, construction this line uh, after this i need to adjust my picture around, uh, about this line like this it need to be a little bit adjust and this is okay this is good I need to make uh, this picture uh, transparency a little bit like this it's after this, I can uh, just draw the top line of fork. Um, we can use uh, spline or line arc as anything. Let's start with line from here, like this, and make this like uh, arc, then another arc, make it all tangent to get better surface like this and after this I can use a spline to make this uh, portion it select spline uh, minimize number of points when you select spline to get a small surface uh, I need to make it this spline with this arc in tangent I need to adjust a little bit and to make it like this make sure uh, you start from your guideline here this point and this point make it vertical also the end point this is very important point to make sure you uh, get the length of guide 180 now I think it is good mm, let a little bit adjustment like this I need to yes this is good let's go or exit from sketch and go to top view from top view I will insert the another picture of top four yes okay I need to adjust it around center line I have created like this 
and it need to be a little bit more maximized yeah more maximize yes little bit here that's okay I need to make it um, symmetry that's okay uh, and transparency your picture to can see uh, all entities you will be created over a picture okay after this I can make line here and make this as a line and after this we need to make arc arc from here um, I need to this like this this is okay also I need to use spline again so we need this area to be tangent uh, I will start my spline here um, minimize number of point to get small curve as we mentioned before now um, let's make this tangent by shift from keyboard hold shift and select uh, spline and arc you can make it uh, tangent here here like this now we need to adjust this it's okay now or oh, i can uh, just add the arc or circular need to add arc like this Make sure you start from guideline we have created 180. Uh, everything start and end from uh, guideline. I need to make this tangent. It's already tangent. Yes. Um, it is minimize like this. This is okay. We can make center line or symmetry line like this to mirror sketch now everything is okay I need to make this tangent is already tangent yes okay we go we go uh, we go from sketch or exit from sketch and then we can use this sketch to build fork uh, I will use the front picture or front sketch uh, just extrude from surface and make sure your extrude uh, lens um, cover the body of fork top body of fork so I will use mid plan and make it it like this to, to make sure I cover the top uh, body of fork uh, and then I can cut uh, the unneeded faces or surface by going to trim and uh, I can make it uh, keep it's better to choose this area yeah I need to select the trim tool um, top sketch yes make keep this area it's better to keep okay now I got the most of body for fork uh, then let's uh, open the slots here but I need to choose the top view of picture from here uh, let's go to top line and make a sketch again um, can use a slot or to make it um, just draft it we can draw like this again that's better I need to make sure everything is symmetry let me 
make a construction line here and cut this line mirror about this make sure this line tangent it's okay I need to close this area yes select line um, I can use uh, move uh, pattern sorry for uh, repeat this uh, contour uh, we can use select chain pattern but in uh, in y direction so I close this way in other direction let's start from five millimeters it okay repeat entities we need to increase number of instance like this it's okay now we can use this sketch to trim from our main surface uh, just go to trim and use sketch trim uh, slot have we have created and uh, remove remove area or keep keep this and uh, the command will understand me to remove the other faces like this and that's great I can um, hide this hide this sketch or let's suppress picture also hide now everything is great we can uh, give thickness for this surface by going to second second and assume the thickness is uh, one millimeter so i will type uh, 0.5 millimeter and uh, make it in both direction or both sides uh, select this body to get one millimeter uh, uh, magnitude for the thickness now everything is great i need just to make uh, this area um, more uh, stiffness so we need to choose a uh, picture watch picture We need to show this picture, front picture, and press, and show again. Let's start with uh, front plan again. Let's make a sketch, and I need to make a guideline here uh, for this curve, as you see in apparent picture. Uh, we need to use a spline, and start from this area or this edge, and make line here point here also another point here you can make this point uh, coincident or uh, piercing uh, it's the same uh, I need to make it more fit to our picture this is better again here I need this area more close to our surface like this this is better this um, consider as a guideline what I will do uh, just make this arc as profile to go blend with this edge uh, by using loft um, so I will just going to um, loft surface and uh, we can start this edge as uh, as a profile this is first profile going or planned with a second profile but the second profile is divided to uh, two arcs so I need to use a select manager from here select manager right click and select manager this group also another group is yes, okay 
Now I planned uh, this, this profile like this. I need to uh, fold about a guideline. I have created this line. Okay. We can um, isolate the surface to show what we have done. Yes, I have done uh, something like this surface, as you can see. So I need to uh, make it uh, connected with uh, the fourth body. Uh, let's isolate fourth body and make it the surface copy from the surface by using uh, um, offset with offset or offset surface uh, zero to convert to copy. Okay, let's hide exit from isolate let's hide this surface now this body solid body now i have two surface body uh, i will suppress the picture to clear clear your vision and this area this sketch uh, it also now um, let's knit these sur two surfaces like this also, we can um, train this surface by use the uh, train sketch top sketch of fork. Here, this is one top, let's show. No, this is front. This is one. Okay, I need to train and look at the top view. I have uh, some redundant faces I don't need. Uh, so to cut unneeded faces, we can select or use a trim tool. This is sketch my trim tool, and I will keep, keep or let's keep this all up. and then okay. Now I get better faces like this. Uh, after this, I need to uh, fold. Let's hide this one. Fill this area, but by just select, right click, uh, select open loop, and then fill the surface. Okay. For the other side, repeat the same thing. Select open loop, uh, fill the surface. Okay. Now we can uh, net again all of this surface. Uh, better to use uh, solid uh, surface bodies folder just shift all of the surface also can create solid then we have two solid bodies like this we need to merge our bodies by use uh, combine I have added the combine command in direct editing if you don't have this uh, command you can go to command uh, here and just write or type comma uh, combine so drag and drop the command now select combine and add from solid bodies here these two bodies added to each other uh, and now everything is very good better uh, I can just add some fillets or make a ridge, if a ridge if edge. I can make it some simple thing like this. If I select sketch on uh, front and let me make it something like this one. Make it concentric or coincident. Coincident makes something like this. You need to make a wedge shape uh, so I can use this line to cut, uh, extrude cut in the other way, flip side to cut here uh, and through bows through all bows okay you can get something like this which and th after this you can add some fillets on the faces that's all about our fork model i hope this video is helpful for you my regards